gonna be grabbing some samples out there. So one of our research teams can test the pesticides to make sure they aren't having any effect on the ecology. This was actually my wife Sandy's idea. She runs the Yukon Valley Nature Center. So she's working closely with a visiting research team. Welcome to Yukon Valley Weapon. The last time I brought both of my daughters here to spot birds, they told me that all the bird spotting in the world wasn't worth the smell. Turned out that a bear had left a rotting moose carcass in the summer sun. I decided to spot birds somewhere else, just in case the bear came back for seconds. Pesticides were used on the forest to prevent beetle infestation are affected. But I still have my doubts about the effects on other wildlife. The flats are one of our most biodiverse regions. So I can't risk introducing anything dangerous to the water or the food chain. Watch your footing at the water's edge. It can be easy to slip and fall in. Just fill one of the containers you have with water. Can you take some samples from the water beside the forest first? We sprayed a section of the forest western edge last month, so I want to know if anything has changed since then. <laughs> Nicely done. First time I was there, I misjudged how stable the edge of a pond was and ended up with one leg knee-deep in the water. I was a rookie at the time, and luckily nobody saw it happen. Can you grab a second sample from a body of water slightly further away from the forest? should do for water samples. Next up, I need you to find me some animal droppings in this region. The musk keg is a hotbed of animal activity, so you should find droppings quite easily. If the pesticides have drifted out to the flats, I want to know if it's making it into the food chain. It's been a month since we sprayed, so there's been plenty of time for the pesticides to get out here. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Could you find a sample from a different species as well? It's better to grab a larger sample size while you're already there in the field. be able to tell if anything larger than a fly is ingesting chemicals that we should be worried about. Reindeer, or caribou as they're known in North America, have a long history as the backbone of native Alaskan society. The Gwich'in tribe have always harvested caribou to provide food, tools, and clothing. The herds are a fraction of their former size nowadays. Not many non-natives get to hunt them. It's hard work wading through the muskeg, huh? I have a spot where you can drop the samples off, and I can easily pick them up. Oh, I just remembered. I've been speaking with my wife about the work you've been doing, and she mentioned a few tasks that she has on her plate that I think you could help her with. I gave her your number, 
so expect to hear from her. She's working on some very important studies at the moment. Hang on a second. I'm getting a call. Okay, I'm back. Slight change of plans. Before you drop off the samples, I need you to grab a hatchet from the outpost at the western edge of the flats. We have a bit of a situation out in the northwest corner of the reserve, and you're perfectly placed to take care of it. It looks like storms have weakened the roots of a tree, which is about to collapse onto the train tracks. Let me know when you grab the hatchet. <laughs> 